Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm gonna teach you how to play a song called Cats You Shot. Okay, so here we go. Okay, give you a preview of what you're gonna learn. You're gonna pretty much learn the entire theme. So check it out, it goes like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn it, okay? It might seem pretty fast and stuff, but it's actually not as hard as you think it is after we break it up into these parts and all these patterns. But anyway, let's get started, okay? So, uh, let's break up this into... Uh, okay, okay, here we go. So there are, I guess, four main parts to it. And then there's like a part that kind of repeats. There's two parts that kind of repeat itself for uh, a second time. But anyway, let's go ahead. First part goes like this. The right hand starts on the B here. So middle C, start on the B right here. Okay, so it goes B, C sharp, D. B, D, D, C sharp, B, C sharp, down to F sharp. And that is the first part, okay? One more time for this first part. So it goes like this. It goes B, C sharp, D. B, D, D, C sharp, B, C sharp, down to F sharp, just like that, okay? So yeah, that's that for the right hand for this first part. Once you get that left hand, okay, we're doing block chords first. At the end, I'll tell you the pattern of how to apply that thing that I showed you in the preview. But anyway, here's a go. Four chords for this um, first part. It goes B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. For three times, actually. So two, three. And then the fourth chord here is F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Yeah, so that's that. Okay, so yeah, with those four chords in mind, so three B minor chords in mind, followed by F sharp major. The two hands together goes like this, okay? So it goes B and B minor together. So it's together. D and B minor together. D and B minor together. C sharp and F sharp major together. Just like that, okay? One more time, so it goes like this. Together, two, three, four. Together, two, three, four. Together, two, three, four. Together, two, three, four. Just like that. Yeah, and that's the first part, okay? When it's faster. Just like that, okay? So yeah, remember that. Okay, and that's the first part. After getting the first part right, let's move on to the second part now. Second part right hand continues. It goes C sharp, D, E. C sharp E, E, D, C sharp B, like that. Okay, that is the second part. One more time for the second part. So it goes like this. It goes C sharp, D, E, C sharp E, E, D, C sharp B. Just like that for the right hand for this second part. Okay, so once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are, okay, three F sharp majors, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, which you know. So two, three. And then the fourth chord is B minor, which is... D, F sharp. So it's kind of like the reverse of the first part where this time instead of uh, three B minors, this time it's three F sharp majors and the, um, at the end it's like one B minor. So yeah, you can see it's kind of like a pattern, just like the first part. But anyway, yeah, with that in mind, so three F sharp major chords followed by a B minor chord. The two hands together for the second part goes like this, goes C sharp and F sharp major together. So it's together, two, three, four. Together, two, three. And then E and F sharp major together. B and B minor together, just like that, okay? Yeah, one more time, so it goes like this. Together, two, three, four. Together, two, three, four. Together, two, three, four. Together, two, three, four. Just like that, okay? And that's that, okay? So yeah, okay, so yeah, okay. So it's the same thing, it's kind of like a similar rhythmic pattern as the first part as well, so just different notes, so. Oops. is a similar rhythm pattern okay but anyway back to back the first two parts we've learned so far will be played back to back like this check it out check it out just like that okay it sounds awesome already here we go moving on to the third part third part right hand continues up to the f sharp here so it goes f sharp up to the b a and then B, A, G, G, F sharp, E, F sharp, down to B. Just like that, and that is the third part, okay? So one more time, for this third part, it goes F sharp, B, A, B, A, 
G, G, F sharp, B, F sharp, down to B. Just like that for the third part for this right hand, okay? So once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are B minor, which is B, D, F sharp, and to D major, which is D, F sharp, A. Then we have E minor, which is E, G, B. And then the fourth chord is back to B minor, which you know, B, D, F sharp, okay? So with these four chords in mind, so B minor, D major, E minor, and B minor, the two hands together goes like this, goes F sharp and B minor together, so it's together, A and D major together, G and E minor together, F sharp and B minor together, just like that, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this, together, two, three, four, together, two, three, That's it. Okay, when it's faster. Just like that, okay? And that is the third part. So back to back, the three parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out, okay? Just like that, okay? Moving on to the fourth part. Right hand continues up to the G. E, F sharp. D, E, E, D, C sharp, B, just like that. And that is the fourth part. One more time for the fourth part, right hand side goes G, E, F sharp, D, E, E, D, C sharp, B. Just like that, okay? And that's that for the right hand fourth part. Okay, so once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are E minor, which is E, G, B. Second chord is B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. Third chord is F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Fourth chord is B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so E minor, B minor, F sharp major, and B minor, the two hands together goes like this. So it goes E minor by itself, right comes in, F sharp and B minor together, E and F sharp major together, B and B minor together. Just like that, okay? One more time, so it goes like this here, together, together. Faster, just like that. Okay, and that's the four parts. So back to back, the four parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. Just like that. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, and yeah, uh, another thing, really awesome thing, is because well, there's another fifth and sixth part of this um, section, but the fifth and sixth part is actually exactly the same as the fourth and, th uh, no, sorry, third and fourth part, respectively, that we just done. So all you need to do is repeat that third and fourth part again. So it just goes. And that's it, okay. So yeah, I'll show you what I mean. So this basically is like first part, second part, third part, fourth part, and back to third and then fourth again. So repeating those two sections, last two sections at the end like this, so. Repeat. Yeah, like that. So you just repeat those two sections at the end two parts I mean yeah but anyway that's that okay so the left hand now after you've done all the um uh, melody and chords very like I guess accurately and then you can get it very smooth and articulate as well then yeah we can like apply the left hand pattern that I was doing in the um, intro in the, in the preview yeah that's right so the pattern is actually very simple um what you do for all the chords right for example B minor this is what you do. You do the bass note, followed by the high two notes, and then take this highest note, drop it an octave below, and then back to the high two notes. And you do this pattern for um, all of the chords like this. Like that, and then F sharp major, same thing. Bass note, high two notes, drop this an octave below, back up to this, like that, same thing. And then the same as the other ones, like D major, E minor, same thing, back to B minor, same, yeah. Like that, but you wanna all, like, all, like you wanna make it very smooth as well, it's like. Yeah, 
So it requires coordination because it's left hand is actually pretty fast if you do this pattern. But anyway, yeah, so do the chords version slowly first. Um, after you can get that good, then do this, okay? And then you apply it together with the right hand, it just goes like this. Shit, okay, so pretty catchy stuff. So yeah, it is a bit harder to do that on the left hand if you're still a beginner learning how to kind of like put your hands together. But yeah, once you can, um, I guess, like do the melody and chord version very good, and then um, you can try to get that hand independence out there. Yeah, before other people here yeah, already develop hand independence, this should be pretty good. But anyway, as for now, yeah, thank you for um, coming into this lesson right to the end. If you enjoyed this lesson, go ahead and check out my other piano tutorials on my channel. I have over 2,600 of them. And yeah, so um, also check out my website as well, bestpianomethod.com to learn more about my methods. But anyway, as for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.